Monetary policy is an economic policy that manages the size and growth rate of the money supply in an economy. It is a powerful mechanism for regulating macroeconomic variables like stability, inflation, and unemployment. These policies are implemented through different tools, including adjusting interest rates, purchasing or selling government securities, and changing the amount of cash circulating in the economy. The central bank or a similar regulatory organization of a nation are responsible for formulating these policies. Economic statistics such as gross domestic product, the rate of inflation, and industry and sector-specific growth rates influence monetary policy strategy. Let's discuss the types of monetary policy. Monetary policies are seen as either expansionary or contractionary depending on the level of growth or stagnation within the economy. One, expansionary monetary policy. This policy is applied when the economy is sluggish or experiencing a recession. By increasing the money supply and reducing interest rates, central banks make borrowing cheaper, encouraging consumers and businesses to spend and invest more. This can help boost economic activity and reduce unemployment rates. 2. Contractionary monetary policy. Used to combat high inflation, contractionary policy involves reducing the money supply and increasing interest rates. This makes borrowing more expensive, discouraging excessive spending and investment. By slowing down economic activity, the central bank can bring inflation back to manageable levels. What are the main goals of monetary policy? Number 1. Inflation. Monetary policies can target inflation levels. A low level of inflation is considered to be healthy for the economy. If inflation is high, a contractionary policy can be used to temper inflation and reduce the level of money circulating in the economy. 2. Unemployment. Monetary policies can influence the level of unemployment in the economy. For example, an expansionary monetary policy generally decreases unemployment because the higher money supply stimulates business activities that lead to the expansion of the job market. 3. Currency exchange rates. Using its fiscal authority, a central bank can regulate the exchange rates between domestic and foreign currencies. For example, the central bank may increase the money supply by issuing more currency. In such a case, the domestic currency becomes cheaper relative to its foreign counterparts. Tools of Monetary Policy Central banks have several tools at their disposal to implement monetary policy, including Open Market Operations or OMOs. The most commonly used tool, OMOs involve the buying and selling of government securities in the open market. By purchasing securities, central banks inject money into the economy, increasing the money supply. Selling securities, on the other hand, withdraws money from circulation, reducing the money supply. Interest rates. Central banks set the benchmark interest rate, influencing how much it costs for banks to borrow money. Lowering interest rates encourages borrowing and spending, while raising them has the opposite effect. Reserve requirements. Central banks mandate a specific percentage of deposits that commercial banks must keep in reserve. By changing reserve requirements, central banks can directly influence the money supply. Lower requirements increase the funds available for lending, while higher requirements reduce them. Forward guidance. Central banks use forward guidance to communicate their future policy intentions to the public and financial markets. This can help shape economic expectations and stabilize financial markets. Let's move on to the challenges and limitations of monetary policy. Monetary policy, though effective, has its limitations. 1. Liquidity trap. During severe recessions, extremely low interest rates may fail to stimulate spending, a situation known as a liquidity trap. 2. Global influences. In an interconnected world, external factors like global economic downturns or currency fluctuations can limit the effectiveness of domestic monetary policy. 3. Political pressure. Central banks often face pressure from political authorities to adopt policies that may have short-term benefits but compromise long-term stability. Monetary policy remains a powerful tool for managing economic stability and growth, but it requires careful calibration and foresight.
By influencing interest rates, controlling inflation, and managing employment levels, central banks guide the economy through the complex dynamics of global and domestic markets. If you want to read it in details or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.